Now we talk about the second role, the second mission of SASE, which is really to connect Joe to, to the work resources, right, the work application, and to secure the data. All right. So the magic word here is connect, right? And that's something that we didn't discuss uh, in, the, in the first part, which is to connect Joe to the software, uh, the secure web gateway in the cloud, this is not about the network, right? This is not about GRE tunnel or IPsec tunnel, right? This is about we need an agent. We need to actually steer the traffic from Joe home, right, using an endpoint. Very, very important. And that endpoint, you know, has to be intelligent. That's actually something that we often forget. forget. Joe is on a lousy network at home. He doesn't have a lot of bandwidth. His network is highly constrained. You know, the kids might be playing video games or watching Netflix, right, in the background. So it's very imp important that that endpoint knows what to send to the SWIG and what to drop. We don't want to see the Netflix traffic. Just drop it. We don't want to see Joe's Wells Fargo banking traffic, right? So as for, you know, really it's very important to have a very intelligent endpoint to connect Joe to the cloud. Okay, so that's the first part. But what are we connecting Joe to? Well, we want to connect Joe to the corporate application. These days, a lot of the corporate application are SaaS application. So they're here. They're going to be here in the cloud. Well, let's give this. So let me draw the cloud here. And for me, it's going to be application like Office 365, Salesforce, right, Workday, all these applications. So what we really want to do is connect you securely to this application, right? So we got the connectivity with the, the agent. Now we need secure connectivity. That is the job for CASB. Let me draw the, the CASB here. I oh, will make it, keep it here, right here. So what do we use CASB for, right? CASB is the Cloud Access Security Broker. So we actually want to control, right? We want to give IT some control of that cloud traffic. For example, you know, my friends in Europe, they love WeTransfer. It's a consumer application to exchange file. But you can imagine this is not an enterprise grade application. So what we want is the SWIG and the CASB to work together. This is why that integration is so, so precious, right? We want to be able to block the we transfer traffic and instead tell the end user, tell Joe, Joe, don't use we transfer, use the corporate we transfer, OneDrive, right, from Microsoft, because that's the sanctioned application from IT. So we can do that with that integration. Really powerful. Uh, what else can we do? Well, you know, with this inline CASB, we have very granular control of what can, Joe can do on this, across this SaaS application. For example, we can control whether Joe can share file with a specific domain. You know, we don't really like that external domain. We don't know him, it sounds very personal. We don't want you to share corporate data right, with that domain. Uh, we can actually go one step further. We talk about the secure connectivity, and once Joe is connected to the application in the cloud, guess what Joe is gonna do, right? He's gonna download confidential data, right? and he's gonna try to bring the data home, which is normal. He wants to work from home. So what else do we need? DLP. But we need DLP in the cloud. And so we, let's add that, because we need cloud DLP, right, to look at the data and to see whether that data is appropriate to be at Joe's home, right? I'll give you an example. Imagine Joe is the head scientist of a big pharma company working on the COVID-19 vaccine. Would you like the secret formula of the vaccine to go to Joe's home? Remember the bad guys? No, you don't want that, right? So you want to block that. DLP would do that. On the other hand, Joe needs to work as a chief scientist, so maybe we let him download maybe the latest result of the latest study, uh, trial, right, for the vaccine. That's fine. But then we're going to add one more thing. Remember the agent and, you know, People miss that. You know, SASE people think that the security controls in SASE are all about the cloud. But that's not enough, right? That's not enough because we've lost all our on-prem networking control. 
So we need the cloud, but we need also endpoint centric security control. We talk about the traffic steering. Here we're going to add one more control. And you know, this is where a unified agent that has the ability to do all these security things at the same time, right? De deploy once, but get all these security capabilities. I'm going to write DLP here. We're going to have the DLP agent. Number one use case that every CISO asks, how do I control what people are printing at home, right? What are they printing at home? I need a DLP agent, right? So the part though is the same agent that's saying the traffic is also able to protect your data at home, right? That is really the power, right? Look for a converged, unified, integrated agent. We do that at false point. Okay, now if we do that, we actually have something really, really, really powerful. It's so powerful, that cloud, that we gave it a name. We call it the Cloud Security Gateway. The Cloud Security Gateway. All these pieces that I just described, this is the new cloud solution, right? Part of our SASE that we launched earlier this week. So very excited to introduce to you the Cloud Security Gateway. Now you know the rest of the story, what it's doing and why it's doing it.